Good morning. I'm going to talk to you about a small portable home desalination unit. It's called the SD2800. It's mainly been built in South Africa and it is built for seawater. So if you've got seawater and you can push seawater through here, you'll get roughly about 3000 liters of fresh water in a 24 hour cycle. If you've got borehole water with salt in it, you can get up to 4,000 or 5,000 liters of fresh water depending on your salt content. Now the SD2800 consists of mainly three parts. You've got your electrical motor, it's a single phase 2.5 kilowatt. You've got a piston pump, stainless steel piston pump, which can pump the pressure up to roughly about 120 bars. And then you've got your seawater membrane inside here with your membrane case. Each of these unit comes with a pre-filter. So it's a 20 inch slimline pre-filter. You've got a 5 micron sediment filter. You've got a carbon filter and a 1 micron sediment filter on this side. So you've got a 15 millimeter fitting that side and a 15 millimeter this side. So from your borehole or your supply pump, you'll pump through the filter and then into the unit on this side. This is your supply side. So your water from your borehole will go to your pre-filter. From your pre-filter, you'll be connecting to here. It's a 20 millimeter hose pipe that you can fit on here. It's got a can lock fitting on this end. On the other side of the membrane. This is the other side of the membrane. You've got two hose pipes that will you will be connecting to this side. One is for your brine or your waste, and this one will be for your clean water that will be going to your tank. So if you start the unit up and she's running, this needle valve you can slowly turn closed until your pressure reaches 50 bar on the, on the gauge, and then you stop. So make sure that you turn the needle valve slowly closed. The needle will go up to 50 bar, and then you stop. Make sure that it stands still on 50 bar. So the unit's got four protections on it. It's got a low pressure sensor, it's got a bypass valve, it's got a high pressure sensor and a overcurrent protection unit on it as well. So just something that you need to know if you put a putting a pump onto this unit, the minimum pressure needs to be two bar and your supply rate needs to be 20 liters per minute. So for instance, your unit's been running for a while and she stops. 90% of the time, you must check your pre-filter. Sometimes it's clogged and the pressure will drop. Your low pressure sensor will sense that and she will put the unit off. That is just to protect your pump.